Hello there. Um, yesterday I did a poll with my friend. Uh, so I asked them how many of them actually support tax code for business people or so to say rich people. And I was quite shocked with uh, the result and what they had to say. Uh, they said um, they should not have more tax cut, but instead they should be imposed with more tax than what they are held currently. So I was quite shocked with the answer um, about the poll. And in this speech, I'll try to convince my wonderful audience that why tax cut is very beneficial uh, for health, for any country and why is it a good practice for a good economy. So I've been self-employed and I've been employed, but uh, never have I ever been to that other side of being a business owner. And I want to make this real clear that I'm not defending anyone or I'm not trying to defend myself. Uh, so, so before I start, and I want you all to open your mind and uh, think about it and, and absorb the information that I'm about to deliver in the speech. So uh, let's begin the speech. Okay, so imagine, imagine yourself as a business owner and you are creating a wonderful employment opportunity in your community, in your society, in your country. You are solving a problem society is facing and you're providing or you are offering them a service, right? And people around the society trust you, they would value in you, they put value in your company. And all of a sudden, government comes in, right? And and government try to tax you not just as a tax for the welfare of a society but more as a tax uh, as a penalization or penalty and that is not ethically correct right and so it's not that uh, I, I do not support uh, how the tax work or the way the tax are but I, I support implementing tax on all people and every single person in the country collectively makes a government and in fact that is how government runs as well. So, but but just implying a higher rate of taxes on a business owner is not a good practice at all. But allowing them to establish a culture um, where the business owner uh, are expanding their businesses, creating more employees with a disposable income, and uh, where there is more cash flow in the market, uh, which will ultimately result to the creation of more jobs. So. So taxes, if tax cut helps um, to establish such a healthy economy, then why should we not encourage uh, it and why shouldn't we not support tax cut for the business owner? And uh, so see uh, what exactly is the, is the need or problem or how exactly helping tax cut for a business owner affects your daily life. And uh, tax cut for a business owner is directly proportional to the the workforce, that is to say number of jobs available in the market and uh, employment directly affect your standard of living or the way you are living. And I want you all to imagine about your um, your time of period where you are unemployed. Uh, uh, think about your standard of living at that time. Think about the pressure, mental pressure you went through. And, um, so, th so think about the cost it had while you were unemployment, right? And unemployment is not just the costly to an individual, it is very costly for society and a country as well. See, uh, unemployment leads to higher liquidation for uh, for state and federal funds, and the government at the time will be spending more money on unemployment benefits and basic needs assistance for its people. And meanwhile, they will not be uh, collecting the same federal uh, or in state uh, income taxes, so which will lead them into further economy deficit. So unemployment rate is is very much correlated with the tax cut for a business owner, and uh, I have a let me let me give you an example about it. So see, in two thousand sixteen, you know, the unemployment rate was about five percent, right? And uh, government in two thousand seventeen came up with the tax cut rule for a business owner, and after the rule was passed. 5% plunged down to 3.6% and became the lowest unemployment rate ever in the history of a country. Uh, and that is a very, very successful achievement for any government. So, so by now you know how tax cut uh, for business people directly relate to your day-to-day -day life. But how does that affect the overall economy of a country? See, a country with the higher taxes 
discourage the effort for further investment in any form of businesses. Uh, think about it and in this way, um, what if I were to tell you that you'd make $10,000 for your next week work, right? You'd be excited, you'd be happy to do that work. But right there, government intercepts you and, and says that $9,800 out of that 10000 will be taken out as a tax and you'll be given $200. So how does that feel? Um, you, the chances are you might even turn down that deal, right? So, so see, um, but, but, but hold on. Do you think 98%, uh, will there any country uh, tax ha has as high as 98%? No, right? Now, nah, absolutely wrong. See, United Kingdom tax uh, exactly what it was more it was even more than 98 percent it was exact 99.25 uh, percent during the world war ii and imposed and implied that tax for a very long time afterwards as well um, but 98 percent is a ludicrous right no no country would have that high uh, i mean it, it's it's a really a ludicrous but most realistic taxes are um, are aren't that high see in the united states the taxes is around 40 percent and there's the state tax on it, and, and the federal tax is on forty percent, and the state tax uh, varies according to the state. So, so, and that that my friend is uh, high enough to discourage you, or high enough to disincentive you, right? So, not and it will also have very high impact on a foreign investment. A foreigner who is con considering investment in the United States. If the taxes are too high, chances are you would set up his office elsewhere, right? Elsewhere in a country where the taxes aren't that high. But uh, if business and corporation have lower taxes and business can spend those money into the reinvestment in its own business or maybe in other businesses and hire more people, you know, hire are the wages for their workers. So the tax cut for a business owner is generally a welcome to a healthy economy. Mm. So, is there any proof how tax cut for a business owner will do, lead to um, a greater economy? See, history proves it proves it as well. In in 1960, President John F. Kennedy uh, came up with the biggest act that was to cut the tax rate from 90 percent. It was that high, 90 percent to 70 percent, and that caused to uh, that caused the national economy to take off like a rocket and that was one of the su biggest and successful achievement of government in history see in, uh, as in overall in conclusion a tax cut for a business owner puts more money in their plate which they can use for their further reinvestment either in their own businesses or, exp or into other businesses and um, that will ultimately result in more hiring and creation of more jobs and also um, will be one of the factors causing higher wages for its worker. So the tax cut helps bring more foreign investment in country as well and uh, help in a healthy economy, tax cut is a must and it is very beneficial to any country. Thank you very much for listening to this speech. Have a good day.